Over the past several years, I've had a number of requests from people to do videos about some of the things that I found to be handy for building model airplanes. And I'm just getting around to doing some of those videos now. When you're building model airplanes, epoxy is extremely handy. These are some of the smallest bottles of epoxy I've ever owned. Usually the ones I got were bigger in diameter and taller when I was building a lot of airplanes. When these get where they're less than half full, and when you're building a plane, you really don't have time to turn this upside down and wait for that epoxy to slowly run down to where you can get it out the nozzle. So I designed one of these things. And the bottle sits in here upside down. Now, when you're building your airplane, you take a bottle off here, you pull the cap off, you squeeze it into your mixing container or whatever, and all you need to do is remember to put the caps back on here immediately. Sometimes it's a good idea to keep a paper towel or a piece of cardboard under this. This has a steel plate for a weight. That could be brass or lead. Could be a pet rock. But it's very stable. You don't have to worry about it tipping over. I'll give you a dimensioned photographs on this. It will not include this piece of triangular stock in here, which just gives a little more strength to the shelf. And these pieces here, they keep the bottle from rolling off to one side. A little more effective for a larger bottle. And that's 3 eighths of an inch by quarter inch. And this is all made out of eighth inch Baltic birch plywood. While this is very handy, I do not suggest leaving these inverted, unattended, or overnight as these caps become worn or lubricated with the epoxy or a temperature change in here it can blow those caps off and you can come back and have a hell of a mess down here. Another handy thing for mixing was the use of these 35 millimeter film can lids. You squeeze your epoxy into that and then I would use a matchstick. I would mix it, use what I needed, wipe the matchstick off this will eventually set up. If you have several of these that you can use, it makes life a lot easier. And then when you're done, you can just flex that, that lid and pop that piece of epoxy out of there. It's easier if you let the epoxy get a little bit thicker. And ready to use again. This has been assembled. This is actually a piece of balsa wood for the triangular stock in there. It gives the shelf plenty of support and I haven't put the steel plate in there yet. And I suggest painting this with polyurethane varnish. Nice thing about polyurethane is not much wants to stick to it. If you do get a little glue or epoxy on there, a couple of days later you can usually pop it off. That's why you want the steel plate. Thank you for watching. If you haven't watched one of these before, please do so. It will help support this channel and I appreciate it.